Um, Rob, well, let, let's start with that uh, Leicester match. Uh, how did you rate their performance? Oh yeah, I mean, it was a good performance, wasn't it? I mean, I think, I think what we're seeing at the moment is we are just we're on the on the right track. We're, we're kind of playing at a level and with an intensity that we feel comfortable with. It makes us very competitive in every game. And to be fair, you know, it's not just been the last two or three weeks we've seen that, or our last block of four or five Premiership games. It's been pretty much since that Clermont game. You look at all our, like, as I've said before, I said numerous times now. You look at our performances at Ulster against Bath at home. You know, week by week. We haven't won every game, but our level of performance has been pretty high and we've been competitive every single game. And that's what you have to aim for. That's probably the key quality we always back ourselves with. That whoever we play and wherever we play and whatever we do, we're very, very competitive. And that's what it feels like now. And I think the Leicester game was a perfect example. I think we were competitive in every area of the field, um, you know, on both sides of the ball. And ultimately, you know, you, you maintain pressure for long enough and, and good things go your way. And I thought that's what we did. I thought we maintained our composure and our work rate throughout the game. Um, and in a lot of ways, that created a lot of the, the, of the positive things that we took out of the game. Uh, and you really threw down the gauntlet to the boys after the game. You, know, you talk of where else can you go now you've been number two. How have they taken that on board? Well, I think it's, some, it's, it's what we kind of talked about. I'll be honest with you, it's probably what started... No, I'm not going to say our comeback, so to speak, because I don't, I don't think we were ever really in a, that bad a place. We were still getting some decent results. But I think it's what's been a, a bit of a mindset and a driver for us since the Clermont game. I think the trouble, is, the trouble is what you have to look back on. We had a, we had a fantastic season last year, we finished second, best thing the club had ever done. And, and I'm not saying we rest on our laurels because that sounds ridiculous because we haven't won anything. But I think we kind of did. I think we kind of drew breath and kind of went, oh, good year, lads. And actually, did we ever then stop and go, right, well, if you've become uh, in the final of a premiership, what do you do next? And actually, you've got to set yourself a whole new set of challenges, a whole new set of targets, and, um, and think about things a little bit differently, because the thing that we've got to achieve in the premiership now, obviously, we want to be a consistent top six side, we want to get in the top four as much as we can, we want to play in the Champions Cup. But ultimately, the next, the next step up for us is winning the premiership, and maybe we were a little afraid of talking about what it would take to, to, to win the Premiership because if you talk about winning the Premiership someone's always there to knock you down you know there's 11 other clubs and only one one team can win it but I think I think we feel a little bit more comfortable talking about what it's need what is needed from us to be up and around there to be competitive at the end of the year uh, and one of the, the things we talked about before the Leicester game was if you want to be in any final you've got to be in the top four the other thing is that once you get in the top four it's in your hands and those are the things we felt comfortable we're talking about before the game that once we, once we draw ourselves in the top four, it's back in our hands now, whether we ever get to a final again for this season. You know, if other teams want to knock it off us, then, you know, they're going to have to come and beat us. At this stage, things are back in our hands and that's where we want it to be. Now, we've got a fantastic challenge for that situation this week against Bath. They're above us in the Premiership. Um, whoever wins will feel pretty good about themselves in the, in the new year. I mean, to be fair, both teams will probably feel pretty good about where they stand in the league position by the end of the season, any, end of the year anyway. But they, again, this is another opportunity of being involved in a top four clash and us driving ourselves up the table. And those are the things that now we should talk about as really relishing and enjoying and that they're, uh, they're great opportunities. They're not daunting challenges. They're th things we should get excited about. You know, I think we train really well this week. The players look excited about going up to Bath. Um, and we've got to contribute everything we can to what should be a, a top four clash of well, Premiership rugby. That's what it is now. You know, that, that was the games we're involved in. We haven't been for 88th minute try here, of course. You would have been above them in the table already. Is that something that uh, sort of still rankles a little bit with the boys that uh, you know you were so close and didn't quite didn't quite happen that first time? Uh, well, yes and no. Um, I mean, as, as I said, it was probably the week before when I was away where we really kind of looked at ourselves in the mirror and said, come on, what are we, what are we really doing this season? What do we really want to try and achieve? How hard are we going to work for things? And I actually think that the back game it was a pretty big performance from us. Um, we did make a couple of mistakes kind of late in the game, but probably on review. I know the guys looked around and kind of said, how did we, how did we let that slip away? But the reality is, you know, Bath had to come here and win a tough game of Premiership Rugby away from home, and they did enough to win it. And that's kind of the way I look at it. And, and sometimes it comes in, comes very late in the game. Sometimes it can come from one or two things that you make make go your way. 
bath made that happen in those last few minutes as far as I'm concerned. You know, they, they, won a, they won a penalty just after a scrum here on halfway, which was our put in. They got field position, they kept us under some pressure and then although we fought, we fought really well and made them play the ball away, they then kept the ball on the edge of our 22 until they forced a score an opportunity. You know, should we, should we have finished tackles? Yes. Should we, have, should we have scrummaged better on the halfway line? Yes. You know, there's so many questions you can answer yourselves, but, but ultimately you know, that's what happens in every game. Every, every, every try you score and every bit of pressure you create, you know, you're trying to create an, an issue for the opposition and sometimes they break and sometimes they don't. And that's what the battle will be at Bath. You know, can we create enough pressure to create some breaks in what Bath want to do? Can they create enough pressure on us to create some breaks in what we want to do? And you know, that's what big games of rugby are all, all settled on. Uh, video obviously is very much a part of modern rugby these days. What have you been looking at this week? Have you looked back at that Bath match from here? And have you, what other games of theirs have you looked at? We have had a little bit of a look at it because it is in, game, in terms of Premiership games, it's not that long ago. Obviously, you know, Bath have made, a, uh, made some chops and changes through the, the, um, challenge, uh, the Challenge Cup campaign. So, although some of those games are worth looking at, not all of them are. And so, actually, as you said, you know, that, that Premiership game is not that long ago in terms of you know, Premiership rounds. So, we have had a, a brief look at it. Obviously, you do get some idea potentially of what may work um, against Bath and, and what they may look to bring against us. But really, you know, your big focus this time of year, especially maybe in short training weeks and with fast turnarounds, is really, I mean, what can you improve on yourselves and what can you drive forward from week to week and how do you recover the guys back to get in mentally and physically fresh. So we spent a fair bit of time on that. And as I said, the way the guys have trained today, I mean, it's been a beautiful day here today. They run around the sun. We look fresh. We look excited. We look ready to go. Um, we've had a positive result over Christmas. The guys have had a couple of days off. And, and for me, it's like I said, it's about getting excited about going and playing in a really big game of Premiership Rugby. These, these top four clashes are what big seasons are all about. You know, this is where you desire to be. And once you get there, you fight tooth and nail to stay there. Too many, two more tries for the tank, of course, on Saturday. Does he continue to surprise you? Well, I think he only got one, because I think the one he was credited with was Jack Yendall on that early that early slide over. So, you know, I think, you know, I, I, was, I was very pleased for him um, because, you know, we've not always performed at our best against Leicester. Um, and I think, you know, especially when Tom Cole has not always performed at our best. And I think it's like anything. We've got Julian Salvi here now as well and, uh, and, um, uh, and Jeff Harling. And, you know, it means a lot to those guys within the squad as well. But, but ultimately, what, what it was a test of, it was a test of how we wanted to turn up here and play on our home patch in an important premiership game that kept us moving up the table. And uh, as pleased as I was for Tom and his involvement in the game, I was also pleased for the work rate of all the players and the rewards they got for, for working extremely hard because, you know, Leicester had a tough game the week before. You know, they had to tra they had to travel to an away game on Christmas Eve. You know, there was a lot of things working against them. But the one thing you know about Leicester is they turn up and they're a tough team to beat. And, and so it always feels very satisfying when you, um, when you knock them over because it's actually something that in the time we've been in the Premiership has been pretty rare to us.